gracious, this is hardly the way to behave in a court of law. What are you thinking? See? It's Vicky. Right down to the polar, Mom. Is it really you? M me, is it me? Of, of course it's me. Who else would it be? <laughs> Nikki, working with Tess. We think that you're pretending to be Vicky to ensure that Tess gets custody. Now, your children are on to Nicole. Ordinarily, that would be enough to send her packing, and yet, there she is. I don't understand any of this. How could I have given her the key? You're the gatekeeper. But I'm only as strong as you are, Victoria. And lately, you have been less than 100%. Yes, I know. And clearly, that's why you're here. You take charge when, when I can't. So take charge. Bring Nikki back. I can't. Why not? It's not as if I consciously let her out. No, it wasn't conscious, but it was intentional. That's not possible. I would never intentionally let Nikki out. And yet you did. You're in a weakened state, Victoria. You've had several serious setbacks lately. Tess has replaced Jessica. Natalie told a terrible lie, which caused her to lose the man she loves. And you cannot shake the image of that blousy slattern Echo de Savoy. The name alone is enough to give one pause. In the arms of your husband. Actually, any one of these circumstances would have been enough to summon Nicole, or me. But altogether, it was just too much. You couldn't face it, and so you chose to hide here. And you let Nikki take your place. This was your doing, Victoria, not mine. I'm not sure I entirely understand this. You think that I am pretending to be me? We think Nikki got out. I think Nikki and I cut a deal. Nikki Smith and Tess? Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Look, I haven't had any trouble from Nikki Smith in years. I'm completely integrated. Natalie, darling, I told you all of this last night. We don't believe you. Mom? Mom, I, I know you're in there. Mom. Right, we're here. It's safe to come out. Uh, Joey, this is no, not Mom. necessary, really. I know how much stress you're under. Okay? And we're here. We're not going to let Nikki get away with this. That's Joey. He needs me. They all need me. They have always needed you. Well, that proves it. I would never have deliberately chosen to come here. And yet, you did. No! Sweetheart! I appreciate your concern, really, I do. But I'm fine. I'm here, aren't I? And ready to do battle for Ryder. I don't want you to worry. I will never let you down. I love you. This is your secret weapon. Judge is on the way. About time. No, it's not Rousseau. He had a family emergency of some kind. Wait, so is the hearing canceled? No, no, no. The court felt there had been enough delay. We've been assigned Judge Massacott. So what does that mean for us? Uh, Massacott's conventional. She likes things simple. No problems. No problems, huh? All right. Well, we won't give her any. Oh, good. So, perfect couple, right? That's right. Right, honey? Are you sure we can depend on her? Nikki? She's got as much riding on this as we do. There has got to be a way out of here. You can't walk away from the truth. And you won't find a way out that way. Watch me. Nikki Smith will not help Tess get that baby. Never! Mom, listen. Um, look, I appreciate the show of support from both of you. I really, really do. But I also know that you both feel your place is really with your father at the hospital. And I understand that, so off you go. Yeah, we're staying right here. Joey, darling, I am so worried about Clint. Aubrey's at the hospital. She'll call if anything changes. Mom, where is Nora? Isn't she representing you? Yes, she was. She had some sort of a conflict, and the judge removed her. What? Well, we gotta get that. What about Taya? I'll call. Yeah. No, 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 don't call Taya. No, I've already spoken to Taya. She was very clear. She has to be with Todd.
We just heard there's there's a new judge. Judge Muscott has all of Rousseau's records, and that means they're working from the same information. Well, then there's no problem. All we're doing here today is listening to the judge's decision, right? I, I don't need a lawyer for that. All rise. <laughs> this hearing is now in session. You chose to hide, which is understandable given your circumstances. Right. Even if that's true, I can't hide anymore. There is much too much at stake. It's, it's Jesse's future and the baby's. Oh, unfortunately, it may be too late. What do you mean? The hearing is in session. Look. I apologize for the disruption this late in the proceedings, but I've read Judge Rousseau's See? notes and have familiarized myself with the various claims of the parties, and I'm ready to proceed with the decision. Uh, will Mrs. Buchanan be joining us? No, no, she had a previous engagement. I'm going to represent myself. Well, accept that. As we're through the evidentiary phase of this proceeding, it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, uh, where's Mr. Banks? Charlie? <laughs> Charlie's in... disposed. Well, that's surprising. The last time you convened, he made an impassioned speech on your behalf. Mm. I expected him to be here. You're not the only one. I'm sorry? It appears that Charlie Banks has finally shown his true colors. Again, Mrs. Banks, if you... You know what? what? Don't call me that. I beg your pardon? Okay, the truth is that Charlie Banks is a lousy cheater, and I am lucky to finally be rid of him. I don't understand. You uh, asked him to join you in the suit. Yeah, well, now I'm unasking him, okay? Oh, come on, Judge. Don't tell me you don't watch Access Landview. There is a picture of Charlie Banks kissing another woman, which is why there is no way that... I can take care of my grandchild. I mean, not now. I told you not to worry. Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Banks. Let me get this straight. You're no longer pursuing custody of Ryder? Nope. I am withdrawing my suit. It's the right thing to do. The kid belongs with his parents, you know, with... Uh, What's his name? Uh, Ford. And, uh, of course, with my daughter, Jessica Brennan. Uh, uh, Ford. No, she cannot do that. Now make her stop. Ah, if only I could. Tess cannot win custody of Ryder. It would be disastrous. Do you hear me? Very well. Then do something! I have to get out of here! As we have discussed, I don't have... No, I know, I know, I know. I gave the key to Nikki, I understand. But there's got to be another way. Joey and Natalie, they're at the hearing. Where are they? Where are they? Joey? There they are. Joey! Natalie! That's not me! It's Nikki! It's definitely Nikki. Yeah, because there is no way that Mom and right or not a million years. Uh, Your Honor, as Mrs. Banks has made it clear that she no longer wants custody, I'd like to ask that you adjourn this hearing and allow my clients to get home to their child. Mrs. Banks, are you sure this is what you want? Mm -hmm. Because once your petition is withdrawn, I will not allow you to reinstate it. Uh, the minor will remain with his biological parents. Your Honor, I'm sorry. That woman must not be allowed to withdraw my mother's suit. That is not Mrs. Banks. That is not my mother. Oh, thank God. Thank God, Joey Rose. It's Nikki. Now the judge is going to have to put an end to this travesty. I would not underestimate Nikki Smith. If this woman isn't Mrs. Banks, then who is she? She's another personality, Your Honor, an alter. Our mother, much like our sister Jessica, has dissociative identity disorder, DID. Which basically means the psyche fractures. And it just... I've read the literature. I'm aware of the disorder. Okay, well, our mother has been under a tremendous amount of stress, and she has fractured into this personality. Excuse me. Uh, it's not polite to point, darling. <laughs> My children are very, very protective, but what they're saying, Your Honor, is simply not true. Uh they're just jealous. They've always known that mom likes me best. Ugh, it's so, it's not true, Your Honor. We, we love our sister, Jessica. But this is not Jessica, this is Tess, and this 
is Nikki Smith. The two of them are trying to fool the court into awarding custody of Ryder to Tess so that she can steal his trust fund. You know what, Joe? E. I think she's right. Um, I do like her better. You know what? You and the redhead, you royal pins on All the right, now let's settle down here. I need some answers. Now, uh, you, uh, who are you? You got me, Judge. I'm Nikki Smith. <laughs> and trust me, I'm a lousy mother. Just ask her. I can't stand kids. Do you know what? I could really use a drink right now. I just want to have a good time. You know what I mean? Uh, I get the idea. Okay, long story short, you'd be nuts to give me that kid. Nuts. So, the good news is that Nikki has been outed. The bad news is I'm still in here. So you have to stop this, Gene. Just because I'm locked up doesn't mean we're helpless. You said that the reason Nikki got out and I'm locked in here is because of me. It was my choice. I am choosing to order you into action. think of it. Vicky's no great shakes as a mother either. Oh, that is not true. Oh yeah, listen to him. What is he, like 12 years old? He's already been married three times. Oh. Over there we got Looney Tunes. And let's not forget Miss Hot to Trot. Huh? You know what she did? She got knocked up by her sister's fiance and she lied to her own fiance, told him the kid was his. Huh. Sweet, huh? Look at him. A bunch of them. What a bunch. See, I think What's going on? Uh, I think, Your Honor, that you're going to have to give the kid to, uh, uh Je Jessica. Mrs. Biggs, are you all right? She... Don't tell me Vicky's coming back just when we're going to get what we want. Mrs. Banks.